The Swan Public House in Brown Hills is well known for being haunted. So back in 2019, I asked psychic medium Lynn Brooks to come with me to investigate what we had previously been told. Over the years, there have been many reports about paranormal activity taking place at the Swan in Brown Hills. Some years ago, psychic medium Lynn Brooks and myself were told about a workman who got the fright of his life when he was fixing sinks in the gents and a ghostly woman walked out of the wall in front of him, then behind him, then out of the room. Petrified by the experience, the workman dropped his tools, left the pub and never went back again. We were also told that orbs had been caught on CCTV bouncing around a recently bricked up doorway. The ghost of a Victorian girl, fondly known as Lucy, was seen on the odd occasion too. She was said to have been knocked over and killed by a horse and cart in front of the pub in the Victorian times. In March 2019, Lynn and I decided to investigate the Swan in Brown Hills. Sharon Roberts and her husband had been landlords of the Swan in Brown Hills for the previous two years, and during that time had already encountered paranormal activity in the pub. Sharon told us that when in the cellar and the pub is closed and empty, people are heard walking about in the pub above them. The TV often switched itself on and glasses would fall off the shelves for no reason. On the 6th of March 2019, the intruder alarm went off at 2.20am, suggesting that there was someone in the bar area by the table. The sensor caught something to set off the alarm, which in turn started the dog howling. The alarm was reset, then ten minutes later it went off again for no reason. There was no explanation. Orbs are caught on camera every night, as they appear as small bubbles. The previous landlady witnessed a mobile phone inexplicably fly off the table while she was sitting with her children and other family members. Sharon told us that a few weeks before Lynn and I visited, one evening when the pub was shut, the front windows banged loudly as if someone was desperately trying to get in. Sharon and her husband feared that the windows would be smashed and ran downstairs. When they entered the pub, they were met with silence and after checking the CCTV, they discovered that no one had been inside or outside of the pub. A door inside the pub, seen to the left in the photograph, has been seen on CCTV slowly opening when no one is in the bar area and the pub is closed. Psychic medium Lynn Brooks felt that this side of the pub was very different to the rest of the pub. She sensed a man and a very feisty woman. The woman, she said, goes right back and may have existed before the pub existed. Lynn believes that the man was a previous landlord. Lynn sensed that although the two ghosts exist in the same space, they are not aware of each other. In the snooker room, which leads to the corridor and room where the workman saw the ghostly lady, Lynn sensed that this area was generally colder and quite different. In the snooker room, Lynn picked up the name Eric and the date 1904. Eric appeared to be dressed as a soldier and stated to Lynn that it should have been mine, referring to the pub. If you have ever had a paranormal experience at the Swan in Brown Hills, 
and you would like to share your story, please get in touch. I would be delighted to hear from you.